Guam, Everton Irish. My name is Ali G, and I is here with none other than the man who used to be the president of the United States of America, and he previously actually was a peanut farmer. So that's the proof that people can move up in the US and A. I also have my dear friend, Borat, all the way from Kazakhstan, and he is going to interview Jimmy Carter. Yeah, I am here with Jimmy Carter, Mr. Jimmy. Is it true that you are an enemy of the Jew? No. I read your book, Jimmy. I had to read the Kazakhstani translation, of course, because it is not one a book that we can read. We have lowest education in Eastern Mid Asia. But I ask you, in your book, you say that there is plan to rid the world of Jew. Is this true? Oh, as I say very clearly in my most recent book, Palestine, Justice or Apartheid, I make very clear on page 34, right there, at the very beginning, that what I'm interested in is in stimulating debate. I do not understand all these words, but I ask you a question. <laughs> do you think the Palestine should shoot the Jew if the Jew is on their land? Well, uh, when the uh, Jews, the Israelis, are engaging in inappropriate and uh, world-condemned uh, acts, of, acts, of, acts of terrorism against the poor Palestinian local populace, I think they have a right to defend themselves. But that's why I believe in peace. Indeed, I helped preside over a peace treaty between Israel and Egypt, and Egypt has upheld that to this day. So you would shoot the Jew? <laughs> if they were trying to kill me, I think I would shoot the Jew in self-defense. But is your wife also a Jew? Yes, in fact, many of my closest friends are Jewish. So if they come into your land and you kick them out and you say, bye bye Jew, you're not taking my money this time, would you say that they have been, what is going on? Well, listen, I think you can make it very clear that this land is for Jews and this land is for everyone else. And the Jews should be able to be able to- In, my, in my country, we have many idols. We have a uh, Mr. Uh, Alfred Hitler, we have uh, Alfred Sadat, and we have Jimmy Carter, former <coughs> king of the US and the high five. I, and we have studied your presidential policy, and we have implemented. We now make all Jew wear hat like this. <laughs> Is this what you intend when you write that the Jew should be ostracized from all other people? Wait, wait. Jews wear this hat? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think they should be ostracized. Rather, uh, you know, they have to realize that though they have a country, that does not give them the right to steal land from nearby just because they feel like it. When you say that apartheid is no good, why do you not think that the chocolate-faced people should have the right to oppress the Jew? No, 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 no. I'm trying to relate what the Jews are now cruelly doing to the poor innocent Palestinians to what the whites were doing to the blacks in South Africa. And the gypsy? <laughs> what about the gypsy? I see one running around here. If you see her, you must be very careful. <laughs> she might try to shrink you like this. But if you get her tears, then we'll all be all right. <laughs> Make her cry, please. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for coming, Mr. Jimmy's. Maybe sometime you can see what a real paradise against the Jew is like and come to Kazakhstan. Jean-Claude. <laughs> <laughs>